Elder Scrolls has a lot of games. Some are good, some are bad. We're gonna have to go over them anyway. But here, the tier list of what are the best Elder Scrolls games. This is my opinion, so you're gonna have to deal with it. And yes, I am gonna take into account the Unity Daggerfall version and Open Morrowind, which is also in Unity, I believe, I don't know, they are remakes of the game that made the game a lot more stable and playable. If you don't like me taking it that way, I'm sorry, but I play on modern hardware, I'm gonna play on the best version available for me to play on modern hardware, and that's about it. First we got the Arena. The first Elder Scrolls game, it had all the map of Tanriel in it. You could go to every province, Skyrim, uh, Cyrodiil, whatever you wanna go, you can go there. It was pretty barren, to be honest. You could see the whole of Tanriel, but you couldn't see much of Tanriel. It was a very basic game, you know, it was the first game and it was pretty cutting edge at the time. I think it was from 1995, this game, something like that. It was pretty rushed too. Oh my god, the crashes. Oh lord, the crashes. It crashed all the time. You know, aside from that, the mechanics were not that different from Daggerfall, it was mainly a content problem, it didn't have much content. I would say this is a C, I am not too fond of this game. Now we got Daggerfall, the second entry to the Elder Scrolls, apparently this is all in chronological order. Daggerfall is not quite my favorite Elder Scrolls game, but it is pretty damn close. The world is so immersive, the game is so well designed, there is so much to do, the world is huge, and we're talking huge, it is procedurally generated, which I imagine, I can only imagine at the time, the amount of innovation and cutting edge technology they had to use to like pull this off. It looks, it doesn't look at all like a 1996 game. It is pretty approachable in modern hardware, because not only it is free, and also Arena, the first Elder Scrolls, they are also free. They are free on Steam, but you can also get a port to the Unity engine. Somebody rewrote this entire game to make it run very well in newer hardware, and it's just, it's beautiful, you can mod it, you can put so many mods in it, it's the same as Skyrim, and we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about how mods affect Skyrim in a way, because I will take modding communities into account, which for Arena is non-existent by the way, it's the same, but yes, even if you don't like the best game, the base game of Daggerfall, the appeal of Daggerfall Unity is that you can make it whatever the freaking hell you want, and that also has a lot of value. Daggerfall to me is an A tier, great game, not quite the best game but it is worth a bunch of hundred hours to play on and you're gonna have a great time and it is free so what are you waiting for? Okay now we got one of the big boys this one is the first mainline 3D Elder Scrolls game it also has a port to modern hardware uh, Open Morrowind it is called Open MW I believe because I cannot use the Morrowind trademark either way this game has one of the best stories out there it is extremely complex you have religious commentary political commentary you have to convince people of every fact on how to play, it is not quite as complex mechanically as say Daggerfall, it is still pretty complex nonetheless. Like any other Elder Scrolls game, if you know what you're doing, you're gonna break it in 5 minutes anyway, so I don't know how much you can talk about complexity in the modern era of 2022 with the internet telling you what to do. The Nerebarim plotline, uh, the class customization, all the spells, it has probably the best magic system of all the Elder Scrolls games, you can teleport, you can fly, you can levitate, you can do whatever the heck you want, oh my god, the acrobatics skill professions are not that complex if I gotta be honest uh, like I'm not a fan of Morrowind professions and crafting and whatnot alchemy though alchemy <laughs> I am gonna show you one of these days I'm gonna make an entire stream of me using alchemy to beat the entire game in like 20 minutes uh, using nothing but potions it's gonna be awesome just wait for it but either way oh my god the map the map the environment the world of Morrowind is so immersive it's beautiful it is nothing like your run-of-the-mill generic middle ages fantasies oh no 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 this is a whole new age a new time i don't know is there anything else i should mention ah yeah it has a multiplayer mode now with the open morrowind thing we played it with Gian before it's pretty cool morrowind i am not even gonna question it s tier if somebody here denies that fact user are getting banned i'm kidding i'm kidding the hammer is right here okay i'm not swinging it now we start with the less memorable games for whatever reason oblivion was a lot more commercially successful than Morrowind. A lot of people remember it fondly. I do not. I think Oblivion is a glitchy mess. 
and not in the funny way. Oblivion has a terrible scaling system, it made mobs harder. The level 1 rat that you were fighting when you were level 1 in the in the dungeon is as strong when you're level 40 because of their terrible, terrible systems. To be fair, Oblivion has a very strong modding community and that kinda saved the game, which is kind of a reoccurring thing in Bethesda games up until the more modern ones that they got rid of modding and that's gonna bite them in the butt eventually, trust me. They introduced map makers with Ruin D immersion in Morrowind, says Gian, uh, I agree. Like in Morrowind you were supposed to explore the world and it was part of the design, you weren't actually that lost, you just had to think a little. Even if you got lost, it's an open world game with no goal, it doesn't really matter if you get lost. That's the appeal of it, you, you still gotta find your adventure wherever you go, whatever direction you go. Oblivion is not that way at all. The graphics, oh my god, the graphics of Oblivion, they look like born victims, the poor faces of the characters. It has five more years of technology than Morrowind and is five times uglier. I hate how Oblivion looks and no amount of modding is gonna fix that. Zero Deal, the map of Oblivion, the area of Oblivion, the world of Oblivion is Tolkien. If you've seen the Lord of the Rings, you've seen Zero Deal. It is a generic boring forest, green, trees, some mountains, and that's it. You got your goblins, you got your 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 trolls, every Tolkien thing you've ever seen, it is this game. There's nothing redeemable, rememorable of the plots of this game. You're the chosen one, you gotta save the king, and it, it doesn't matter. There is nothing special about this game. I think this game is pretty bad. And people I know full well are gonna get mad at me, but guess what? Medina don't care. Medina is too hard for that. So, Oblivion is getting dirty. Ow. That could have gone, that could have gone well. I should get like a fake microphone to drop. Okay, <laughs> now we got Skyrim. It is yet more simple, yet more quote unquote dumbed down than Oblivion and somehow I like its systems way more. I get it, if you look at the chronology of Bethesda, Fallout 3 came before this game and you can tell a lot of the design tropes of Fallout 3 came into play into this game, which makes sense. This game, it feels, oh my god, it feels like it came out yesterday. This game came out 11 years ago. We are old, people, we are old. The graphics are okay. The graphics are not great by any means but they are so much better than Fallout and Oblivion at the time and the faces do not look great but they do not look like born victims anymore and I appreciate that Bethesda. The modding community of Skyrim is perhaps not perhaps it is the biggest modding community of every Elder Scrolls games by far. That kind of saves the game on its own right. You don't like the alchemy system? You get a mod and you change the alchemy system. You hate the bugs in this game of which there are many. You get a mod and you fix it. You don't like the graphics? You have a high and computer, you wanna make it the prettiest it's ever been, you can do that, doesn't matter. The modding community is the saving grace of this game, by any means you don't like professions, you don't like the game is too simple, whatever, most of these issues can be fixed with modding. And whether you like it or not, whether you think that's not the base game, which it's not, I don't care. I am rating my experiences as a player and if mods are gonna make the experience better, even though I don't really like modding, I am gonna take advantage of it. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, the plot is also very boring, oh you're the dragon ball, you're the general, uh, secret, uh, chosen one, once again, you gotta save the world, nobody cares, Skyrim as a soul, it is, uh, it's okay. This game is the Nickelback of the Elder Scrolls, it is cool to hate on it, it is never great, but it is always okay, so we're gonna give it a B, okay. We got Elder Scrolls Red Guard. This game was a 3D game way before Morrowind came out. The graphics were some of the ugliest graphics you've ever seen, even for PlayStation 1 standards, but that's not really my main criticism of it. Not only it is pretty much impossible to run on modern hardware, which isn't the case for the other Elder Scrolls, like even Arena you can get around and run it more or less well. The controls are such a nightmare, the design is awful, the only redeeming quality of it is that it has a good storyline way this game is not really an Elder Scrolls game, this isn't an open world game at all, this game is just out there, it's like a single player adventure game, it should have never been made, it's gonna get another. D. Now we got The Elder Scrolls Online and The Elder Scrolls Online 2, what the hell is this one? I don't know. Either way, The Elder Scrolls Online, when this game came out in like, what is it, 2013, 2014, this game would have been a straight D. This game was so buggy, this game was... Remember people complaining about Fallout 76? Okay, I don't know how people are so shocked. Elder Scrolls Online came out in the same deplorable state, it was unplayable, it had so many bugs, everything was so clunky. They demanded you would pay 15 bucks a month for a game that's not even finished and you had to buy it too. 
it was a total ripoff. Naturally, the game failed and they had to do like its own a realm reborn kind of style rework of the game entirely they remended and over the years it became a decent game if you really like transmogrification if you really like cosmetic collecting if you really like world pvp even though it is not the best world pvp out there i think right now it's like the biggest world pvp game to play maybe even online is out there it's a okay mmo i'm gonna give it a b i am not too happy about it sadly i never played battle spire so we're not gonna have it in the list uh, that should be a video for its own right, I never played Blades because that's a phone game and, and screw that. Either way, I'm gonna put Blades on F just to please my chat. Okay, I'm gonna do that because they are complaining. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my entire tier list of the Elder Scrolls games. As you can see right here, Elder Scrolls is very hit and miss, you never really miss, eh? It is what it is. It still has a lot of good memories to my heart. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for we got a lot more coming. Join our Discord, I'm gonna leave a pinned comment, I'm gonna link it in chat. You cannot wait for it. Alright, West Coast.